Hi everybody, it's Martin with Flicking Feathers again today. Tying resurface fly for you. This is uh, a I think it's a triangle bug. Um, it's just a super simple little surface pattern. Tie them in all different colours. You know, like green and white, red, whatever. Up to you. It's uh, I saw it on the internet ages ago. And I thought it was quite a, a neat little idea, um, especially like as a panfish fly, you know, they're quite small mouths, so they can't swallow this too deeply because of the shape of it, so it's good for releasing them. Uh, it's got plenty of foam, so you can use it like, to suspend a, a wee spider or a bug or something on below it. As always, there'll be a materials list in the description, along with a link to uh, some social media and all that, and the Patreon page. Now, as far as I'm concerned, the hook's largely irrelevant. I'm using a TMC 55212, right? It's the hopper hook. It's a size 10, but whatever you like. I mean, if it's a panfish fly, you know, right, this is big enough that a bass will, could be interested in it, but it's no... I mean, it's nothing you need to worry about, right? The, any trout hook will be strong enough. Tail, I'm using Marabou. I like the movement, but... Up to you, really. Just get that tied in nice and secure. I'm sort of... Pinch the ends there. Don't cut, never cut marabou, just if you pinch them, you've still got a nice sort of natural looking edge. And then I'll tie in some, a pair of rubber legs. Any rubber legs will do, and I'll tie them. So the tail's tied into the hook barb, the level with the hook barb. And this is about, these legs are going in about a third of the way back up the body. I'm just going to try to get them relatively even. And then we're ready for uh, the foam. So, we've got just 3mm, 2mm foam. Again, no that important. Up to you. I've got to cut myself a strip that's like twice the hook gaps wide. And then I've just got to measure it so that it comes back to just just about the tail when it's folded. Of this well, just rectangular form. Fold it in the middle and then let's make two cuts, same angle to give me this sort of diamond shape just moisten that marabou to keep it out of the way just pierce a wee hole in the middle push the eye through I'll make sure I've got my thread back at the tail section and it's just a case of taking a couple of wraps just to catch that in place check it for length it's fine and I'll separate my legs And then using some brushable super glue, I'm going to coat 
the inside only in the top half. Right, because I don't want to get it on to like, exposed rubber or anything, I just I just want enough to stick the foam together. Fold it over. Make sure the ends are even and get a pinch. And tie it off. And you can see there I've got my legs. The foam stuck and the legs are nicely sort of separated. The last thing to do before you finish off is just come in, trim them off so they're even, leaving them quite long, and then what's that? A blob of head cement in the groove of the thread on the foam, and then whip finish. Be careful not to catch your hook point. Do another one just for security, although it's fine. Cut off your thread. There you go. That's it, that's the triangle bug. As I know it. Super simple, super easy. Nice boiling little sur fur surface fly. Bulk at the head, but still narrow at the back, so they can get a, so they can get the hook. Just got to crush the barb. But there you have it. Quick tie, well worth getting some up, knocking them up, and putting them in your box if you fish for panfish at all. Um, and, but as I say, I've caught bass in these as well, um, so they're, they're definitely worth having. So. Hope you enjoyed that. Tight lines guys. Bye.